Tonight at 6, we're bringing awareness to unhealthy eating habits. Experts tell us how to detect it and the many effects that it actually has. Let's turn it over to News 9's Alicia Gaffney. She's live in the newsroom with more. Alicia. Well, Brad and Melissa, it doesn't take much for unhealthy eating habits to turn into e an eating disorder. The cause may vary by person, but for most, it comes down to comfort and control. It was a control aspect, and, you know, it was the one thing in my life that I really could have full control of and if i lost that then what started when she was in ninth grade caught in a stressful family dynamic and in need of control so i you know developed anorexia at that point in time um you know i actually spent some time you know in counseling spent some time in hospitalization um, as a result of it because of you know my weight she took to running to cope running several half and full marathons including the boston marathon that lack of control can trigger many, especially during a global pandemic. We know that there is a very big tie-in between food scarcity and eating disorders. Um, a lot of, you know, um, separation, a lot of being isolated. Um, and for a lot of people, it was being in, in a home, if you will, maybe surrounded by a lot of food or maybe by not having enough food. So I think all of that and, you know, Quite frankly, people just trying to numb and make it through the best way that they know how. And Melanie says when she decided to take her control back, it was better on the other side. Allowing that to control me, um, you know, to kind of control my day to day aspect, what life could be like on the other side of that was what triggered it for me. Experts say it's not abnormal for us to want to control our environment, especially when many things are spiraling. We'll have more on her story and how to cope on our website. Live in the newsroom, Alicia Gaffney, News 9, WAOW.